Hello everyone. In this session, we'll start unit number four, which is web analytics and web mining, and we'll discuss the first topic, which is mining time series data. So these are the topics in unit number four: mining time series data, mining sequential pat sequence pattern in transactional database, spatial data mining, multimedia data mining. security first insurance connection with policy holders web mining overview web content and web structure mining mining the world wide web search engines search engine optimization web usage mining web analytic maturity model and web analytic tools so we'll discuss the first topic which is mining time series data we'll discuss this the following topics first we'll discuss about data stream its sources and data mining we'll discuss time series database methods for mining time series databases which are trend analysis and similarity search first data stream mining so data stream is a continuous fast changing and ordered chain of data transmitted at a, at very high speed it is a ordered sequence of information for a specific in, interval for example uh, from one system to other system data is flowing that is sender is sending the data receiver is receiving the data this all happens live that is there is no data storage at any point so streaming does not mean downloading the data or storing the information on storage devices so continuously the data is being transmitted by one system and it is being received by the other so these are some of the sources of data stream internet traffic sensor data like iot sensor data it may be temperature humidity data live event data satellite data audio listening watching videos real time surveillance systems next what is data mining so data mining is a process of extracting knowledge or insights from large amount of data using a using various statistical and computational techniques so simply data mining is a process of extracting knowledge from large amount of data so for example see this diagram so it consists of data stream generation that is sensor data internet traffic image data on this we try to apply the data stream mining that is on this data we are trying to apply the data mining and we try to extract the knowledge so by applying data mining to data stream knowledge and insights are extracted from continuous real time data using specialized processing techniques next let us discuss about time series database time series database consists of sequence of values or events obtained over repeated measurements of time for example this for example price of a stock may vary with respect to time so this is an example of a time series data and these values are typically measured at equal time intervals for example hourly daily weekly time series database are popular in many applications such as stock market analysis economic and sales forecasting observation of natural phenomena such as atmosphere temperature wind and earthquake and medical treatments so this is a graph of bsc stock market analysis from around 2008 to 2018 so let us discuss the methods for mining time series database two common methods for mining time series database are trend analysis and similarity search let us first discuss trend analysis and 
similarity search in brief so trend analysis in this we try to identify patterns or trends in time series data over time in this techniques like moving average exponential smoothing and regression models can be used to detect long term trends it is used for forecasting anomaly detection and understanding the underlying patterns in the data so it is used for forecasting it may be like stock price prediction we are trying to predict the price of a stock and anomaly detection anomaly detection is a process of identifying data points or patterns that deviate significantly from normal or expected behavior for example in heartbeat analysis anomaly uh, detection identifies irregular heart rhythms or pattern that deviates from normal heartbeat pattern next similarity search as the name indicates we are trying to find the similarity between the given query and the sequence it is aimed at finding patterns or subsequence in time series database that are similar to the given query sequence so we have two sequence one is the only original long sequence which varies with respect to time and the second one is we give a small sequence and we try to match the sequence and the given query and so we can try to predict a part of the sequence or we can try to predict whole sequence these are the two types in similarity search measures like euclidean distance discrete fourier transform singular value decomposition or cosine similarity are often used it is helpful in applications like anomaly detection pattern matching and clustering time series data so let us discuss in detail about trend analysis so uh, this is a time series data of stock price so on x axis we have time and on y axis we have price so price is increasing and again decreasing so if we take this y axis as y this y axis value is a function of x axis that is it is a function of time t so y varies with respect to t phi is a function of time t so time series involving a variable y represents the daily closing price of a share in stock market can be viewed as a function of time that is y equal to f of t so in general two models so in general two goals in time series analysis we have two goals those are modeling time series that is to gain insights or the second one is forecasting time series that is trying to predict future values of the time series variable for example it may be stock price prediction so trend analysis consists of four major components for characterizing time series data trend movement cyclic movement seasonal movement irregular movement first one is trend or long term movement these indicate general direction in which a time series graph is moving over a long interval of time for example price is varying over long interval of time in this graph example a company wants to determine whether its annual revenue is increasing over time they analyze the revenue over the past decade and fit a regression line to identify a positive trend next cyclic moments this refers to the cycles that is long term oscillations about a trend line or curve which may or may not be periodic for example retail stores sales fluctuate every year due to economic recession that is sales for uh, fluctuates every few years due to economic recession or seasonal movement or seasonal variation they these are systematic or calendar related seasonal movements are identical or nearly identical patterns 
that a time series appears to follow during corresponding months of successive year for example peak demand for electricity increases during summer and also increase in water consumption increase in summer that is in a year during this particular season peak demand increases that is we require more electricity during summer months next one is irregular or random movements this characterize irregular motion of time series due to random events such as labor disputes for example store sales dropped unexpectedly in month of march due to sudden supply chain disruption so this is not a regular moment this is irregular or random moment next we can use techniques like moving average exponential smoothing and regression models to detect long term trends first one moving average this helps to detect overall upward or downward trend so let us take an examples of monthly sales data in order to smooth the uh, monthly sales data what we try to do is we try to calculate three months average for example for april month three month average is the average of january february march and for may the average is of february march and april and so on so by doing this we try to smooth the graph second one is exponential smoothing this helps to detect the recent trends for example forecasting website traffic this helps to detect recent trends in traffic making it useful for forecasting website traffic for next to few days for example using this formula we can try to predict the website traffic you have daily website traffic and want to forecast future traffic based on past trends using simple exponential smoothing you give more weights to the recent data points while smoothing out old data next regression model this helps to identify there whether there is upward or downward trend and can also provide a forecast for future for example predicting house price so we can use a linear regression model and try to predict the price wherein the dependent variable is house price and independent variable is time so the formula is price equal to beta not plus beta 1 into time next one similarity search so then next method is similarity search similarity search in time series analysis involves finding sequence in data set that are similar to the given query this is useful when data points are expected to have slight variations or noise but still follow a recognizable patterns so we have two types of similarity search searches which are subsequence matching and whole sequence matching in subsequence matching we try to find sequence within a long time series sequence that are similar to the given query for example in stock market analysis if you are looking for days where stock price increases followed by a slight dip subsequence matching will help you to find similar patterns in other parts of the data even if exact value of the price vary so for example this is the given query and this is the this is the actual long time series data wherein we are trying to find this data next method is whole sequence matching in whole sequence matching the focus is on finding time series sequence that are similar to each other has a whole for example in medical diagnosis you might have a sequence of heartbeat from a healthy patient and want to find other patients heartbeat data that shows a similar rhythm across the entire sequence so in whole sequence matching we are trying to match the entire sequence thank you